just don't go out smelling bad you immediately look unattractive isn't that why we always go back to makeup we go back to makeup because we want to even out our skin tone with foundation i can tell you for free that no one likes a dry chapped or flaky lips wear clean clothes hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is Juliet Onoja and I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in England. On my channel, I share content around beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If this is something that interests you, you might want to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and let's interact in the comments. In today's video, I'll be sharing you six practical tips on how you can look beautiful without wearing makeup. Without wasting so much of your time, let's jump right into this video. The first tip is skincare. If you invest in your skin, you won't need makeup to look beautiful. Skincare is very important. If you want to have attractive skin, you might want to invest in your skin. If you don't invest in your skin, you won't have even skin tone. You won't have a glowy, healthy looking skin tone. Your skin won't be clear and that's why you will need makeup to look beautiful. If you want to look attractive without wearing makeup, you have to put time and effort into your skincare. You have to take care of your skin for you to achieve that healthy, clear, and glowing skin. If you don't put time and effort into your skin, you will need foundation to even out your skin. And that's why you run back to using makeup and cosmetics. You don't need makeup to look beautiful. Just take care of your skin. Just a simple moisturizer can make your skin glow and look healthy and beautiful. If you want to look attractive, you have to invest in your skin. You have to invest time and effort and sometimes money. If you invest time and effort into your skincare, you will in turn get clear, healthy and glowing skin. Isn't that why we always go back to makeup? We go back to makeup because we want to even out our skin tone with foundation. The next tip is do your eyebrows. Did you know that the brows are one of the first things you notice when you look at someone's face? Do your eyebrows. Groom your eyebrows. The eyebrows are the most important features on our face. If you look at someone's face, you can easily notice how thin the brows are. You can easily notice how full the brows are. You can easily notice how thick the brows are. The brows really make an important feature on our face. The brows really define the face. If you, you won't look attractive without makeup if you don't groom your brows. If your brows don't look good, it affects your makeup and your overall appearance because, like I said, the brows are the most important feature on our face. Have you noticed how very elevated your face looks after you've just groomed your brows? If you haven't noticed, pay attention the next time you groom your brows. Groom your brows regularly wax your brows if that is the technique you use shave your brows if that is the technique you use thread your brows if that is the technique you use whatever technique that works for you but if you can't groom your brows yourself make sure you go to a professional to do this always groom your brows to give your face that lift if you can't groom your brows at home please go to a professional to do this Unless, of course, you want to go around with brows looking like a clown for a couple of weeks. The next tip is take care of your lips. I can tell you for free that no one likes dry, flaky, or chapped lips. You don't have to do anything serious to take care of your lips. Just make a DIY lip scrub with honey and sugar and scrub your lips at least once or twice a week at home. Each time you do this, Always remember to go in with a moisturizer. Always moisturize your lips. If you have a lip mask, always use a lip mask before you go to bed. And when you wake up, always go in with a moisturizer to keep the lips well hydrated. Always moisturize your lips with a lip balm or a lip gloss. Always scrub your lips at least a few times in a week. And always go in with a moisturizer. Always keep your lips moisturized for that youthful healthy glow. 
Do not leave your house without moisturizing your lips. The next tip is oral hygiene. Your oral hygiene contributes to your overall appearance. So you have to take your oral hygiene seriously. Brush your teeth twice a day, morning and night. Always use a tongue scraper, plus at least once in a day, and always use your mouthwash after you brush. Because if you look good and your breath stinks, you become unattractive instantly. Your oral hygiene is very important because a smile is the best makeup a girl could wear. That's why you should take your oral hygiene seriously. If you watched up to this point and you are not yet subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video too. The next tip is your hair. Have you noticed how very beautiful you look when you first get your braids done? Your hair contributes to your general appearance. You have to try to keep very clean hair, always tie your hair, change your hair as often as you can if you can afford to. Wash your hair, change your cornrows regularly even though they live under the wig. Keep your hair clean, hydrate your hair. Even if you wear wigs, wash your hair, change your cornrows regularly. It makes a huge difference. If you don't wear wigs, learn how to style your hair. The next tip is wear clean clothes. Clean and well ironed clothes really add to your appearance and this really elevates your look. Also remember, first impression matters a lot. You don't want to go out looking shabby and unkept and expect to look beautiful and attractive. No one would even look at you. Wear clothes that suits your body type in terms of your shape, your height, your size. Don't wear what a slim person would wear if you are chubby, if you get what I mean. The next tip is invest in your smell. Smell nice. You want to invest in your smell. Use a deodorant, use a body spray, use a perfume, whichever one you can afford. Just don't go out smelling bad because if you go out smelling horrible, you will become unattractive. So, always try to smell nice if you don't smell good you automatically don't look good the next and final tip accessorize accessories really complete our look we take our look from zero to hundred wear your earrings wear your necklace wear your wrist watches wear your wristband wear your belt wear your hat because they make you look put together and they complete your look there you have it, six practical tips on how to look beautiful without wearing makeup. That concludes today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, like this video so YouTube can recommend it for others to watch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these tips or if you use any of these tips or if you'll be trying any of these tips tips or if you already try any of them. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!